I'm being joined by Essence Subramaniam, whole time director, senior executive, vice president, infrastructure and construction. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. I just want to first understand what exactly is LNT's role going to be in this? Yeah, uh, good morning to you and happy to be on NDTV Profit. Uh, plus, all of you and all your viewers had a great Diwali. Yeah, this is an interesting project, complicated and technologically challenging. And uh, it's fortunate that uh, after an international bidding process, we have been chosen and we are fortunate enough to be the best. Uh, the project is essentially to build the Sardar Vallabhai Patel statue at uh, in Narmada. It's on a small rocky island uh, just off the bank. So the project is about building a small bridge into it, an access road and a bridge, uh, flattening the rock, making a small uh, viewing gallery at the bottom, a nice entrance uh, lobby, and an exhibition center which allows the, the life, and, uh, life and span and times of uh, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. And on top of the slab and the rock that comes is where the statue comes. It's a very interesting structure, 82 meters in height. One of the, it will be the largest statue in the world, the tallest statue in the world. It has about uh, nearly 6,000 tons of steel. And the most interesting part is the entire statue is added with about uh, 13,000 square meters of bronze uh, metal fabric around it. So what we do is we do a mock-up of the statue on a small scale, 25, 40 foot uh, by the side. Uh, we capture the entire face, uh, the, the, the the features of the Sadar Vallabhai Patel in terms of uh, the facial features, the hand, the legs, the clothes, etc. And uh, we uh, make uh, bronze panels, like you know, in a building you have the glass facade around it. So we capture the entire features of the statue in bronze, and then put it in a steel frame. And uh, frame by frame, we lift it and erect it around the steel mass. There'll also be two high-speed lifts within the statue. And at about 152 meters, there's a viewing gallery where about at a point of time, 200 people can go up and view the surroundings. You can see the dam, you can see the water flowing, you can see the nice green surroundings. So all in all, it's a very interesting, uh, extremely challenging and interesting project. to have got. The yeah. artists are going to be employed by you or are they being provided by the Gujarat government? The project is, as you know, being taken forward by the Gujarat government. It's a... It's a national project. It's a pet project of our Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. uh, the Chief Minister of Gujarat has also been propelling this project. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will have a lot of inputs from the government of Gujarat, but essentially everything would be done by last month. Has, uh, has LNT done anything similar before? This is a unique project. Uh, I don't think anybody would have had a chance to do something similar. Mm -hmm. But we have done such projects of monumental nature. One is the Bahai House, Lotus Temple and Delhi was something similar, but class, class, class out of marble. Mm -hmm. We have done other uh, smaller statues. We have done many Hanuman statues uh, across the country in many places. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we have done tall buildings. We have done uh, huge chimneys, very tall buildings. So uh, we have done steel buildings of, of great height. Uh, so the concept and principles are known to us. What we'll be doing out here is, interestingly, in, in, in China, uh, they do a lot of Buddha statues of similar nature and uh, uh, bronze cladding. So we will be taking uh, technical help from few Chinese organizations whom we know very well. And we will be bringing in a certain amount of expertise from our point of view. But as such, this will be done by uh, LNT engineers. So, Mr. Subramaniam, how did you get the order? Is it through a bidding process? Did the lowest bidder get the order? Uh, in common projects, that's the only way. Yes, it was an international bidding situation. We pre-qualified. Yeah. Uh -huh. We bid for it. As I mentioned earlier, we are fortunate to be the best. And we got chosen through a very good and robust process. And here we are. So, well, would it be fair to assume that this is not a pro project where you're out there to just make margins? It is something where you're building a new thing, something completely new, and uh, it's also a brand building exercise. Would, it, would that be a fair assessment? Uh, at the end of the day, LNT is a commercial organization. It's also a national organization. Mm -hmm. So both the aspects are involved. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's a national project. We view it as a press seat that we've been chosen to do this project. At the same time, we have stakeholders and shareholders. We have to keep their interests in mind. So it's a combination of both of the no, I'm just trying to see that this kind of a massive project, the world's largest statue, uh, 3,000 crore rupees works out to uh, about what, $500 million or even less, about 480, 490. Yeah. Yeah. That seems to be on the lower side to be able to do this. It appears to be something where you'll have to sacrifice your traditional margins that you have. 
I'm not sure how you arrived at the judgment. In our view, it's a reasonably quoted project. It's a good project, and we mm. hope to take it forward. So you think that this is a this is reasonably fair? Whatever you're getting for uh, from the Gujarat government, I would assume so. Yes. And uh, how long will it appro take, approximately, to finish the statue? It's 42 months project, uh, so and it has got an inbuilt uh, six or seven months for the design process because that's very important. Uh, so we have to do the design. We have to get the design uh, vetted by experts. We have to get it through the government also satisfy them. Uh, it's a seismic area. It's also a, a tall statue means the wind uh, forces are tight. Have to be taken care of. So all that will take some time because we have to do certain tests etc to justify the design. Uh, but beyond that, so 42 minus 6, real construction would be about 36 months. It'll be, uh, sorry, I missed the last part. The line was a little bad. Could you repeat that? The real real construction would be about 36 months. It's about 6 months for the design part of it. But in the 6 months, we'll be doing a lot of preparation work at site, uh, putting the site into shape, getting the design engineers uh, there, um, getting the logistics into shape. Because it's a fairly remote area, two and a half hours drive from Baroda City. And therefore... Uh, there will be some issues on logistics and movement, etc. All that we have to get it into shape. I think it's, it's reasonable from that point of view. Okay, uh, Mr. Subramaniam, one, uh, you know, the, you were asking that why am I saying this is a lower end? Obviously, it's much cheaper to produce in India, and uh, LNT has the expertise to do it. But uh, I mean, perhaps not an apples to apples comparison. I'm just trying to look at what uh, it costs to restore and. Uh, you know, uh, kind of expand the Statue of Liberty area, which is much smaller. And estimates, I think, at that time was 160, that, that's 15 years ago, 160, 170 million dollars, 16 years ago. And uh, it, that was not a brand new statue, not the largest one. So that's why I was trying to understand whether 500 million dollars is uh, remunerative, but uh, understandably, you are the best judge there. You have the internal notion, idea about how to do that. Uh, you're saying, and we are going to take that at uh, uh, face value. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Subramaniam. This was a pleasure speaking to you.